Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at the uh, S7800B and now I've had a few days to check out the system um, I'm pretty sure that uh, I can produce a review on this so JXD is a brilliant tablet it's very similar to the Arcos Gamepad 2 spec wise but it's a lot better as well first off I really enjoyed the analog sticks uh, I think they're absolutely brilliant and they're much better than the Arcos's uh, version and um, all in all everything button wise is really really good quality they all feel responsive and um, very snug indeed and you d they don't feel cheap at all when running apps this thing is brilliant it comes with the Happy Juke emulator so you can run pretty much uh, every app going uh, and and get them off of this store basically this is a store and uh, you can get Android games off this store I'm not too sure on the legality of that but it works and I have played some of the Android games off the store um, obviously you can't get every Android game but most of them um, are on there you can also get um, if you go into category here you can also get various emulators um, which is pretty cool and these play pretty well bar the PSP which is a bit iffy but I believe that's iffy due to the optimi uh, unoptimized code rather than um, the actual device itself um, but otherwise it runs everything really really smoothly now today um, I've managed to check out the HDMI feature and that works and I will be doing a video of that uh, shortly but that works again really really well and um, Everything's just fantastic. I like the fact that they've removed the bar from the bottom of the screen and gave it dedicated buttons for back and home. I think uh, that works exceptionally well. Um, like I say, all the buttons feel really nice. The speakers, they go pretty loud and uh, they're pretty decent as well. Not quite as loud as the Arcos Gamepad 2, but uh, they're still oozing quality at the, the sound that they go to. Also, the camera on the front and the rear. Now, they're not the best camera. Um, not the best cameras at all they get the job done if you're skyping you know it gets the job done but it's nothing groundbreaking at all now I've, I complained on the previous videos about the proprietary charger and um, I finally realized why the proprietary charger is actually a really really good idea now I mentioned as well that I was going to try out the PS4 controller and I did and it actually works through the USB uh, and that wouldn't be able to happen whilst it is charging otherwise uh, if it was charging via that USB slot so uh, via the micro slot there so I'm kinda glad that they've done that because it means I can charge and play with the controller at the same time whilst having it plugged into the TV so yeah that is what I think it is it's, it's definitely a good idea to have that proprietary charger granted it's not going to be easy to find uh, compatible chargers for it but at least you can charge it whilst playing it with a controller. Um, the headphone jack works really well. I've noticed some people complaining about the antennae, uh, Wi-Fi antennae, and the um, range. Now, I haven't found the range to be too bad, to be honest with you. Uh, if I'm upstairs, I can connect to my Wi-Fi downstairs, and it works fine. Sure, there's only two bars, but that's to be expected, as that happens with my Kindle as well. Um, but then I've got a Wi-Fi router upstairs and a Wi-Fi router downstairs. So I just connected to the one upstairs um, and I'm still two rooms away from that uh, on the other side of the building. So then that works really, really quite grand. The Wi-Fi has not really been such a problem for me. Um, I've kind of gotten used to their sort of reskinning of each icon. I think uh, it adds... As I said in, in a previous video, it adds originality and it's definitely um, quite nice to see that they've sort of put the effort in to make their icons different to every other tablet. And I do like the fact as well that um, they include some of their own videos and stuff on, on the device and some of their own sort of store, you know, their own store, just some of their own content is really quite cool. The device itself doesn't feel cheap. I haven't noticed it creaking anywhere whatsoever when I push quite hard on it. It doesn't really creak, um, so it does feel pretty solid. I've heard people having a lot of problems with these, but so far, so good. My JXD hasn't had any problems whatsoever. It seems to be built really nicely and uh, really quite quality-like. 
The other thing as well is since they've upgraded this from Android Jelly Bean to Android KitKat, you're getting a um, bigger partition to put your apps on. So whereas before you only had like a gig, now you get three gigs. So you've got a bigger space to put your, your gaming apps on, which means you can install more, um, which again is a really good idea. They're still supporting this and uh, there's, they've still got oncoming stuff coming out with console wise. There should be one uh, coming out at some point next month. Um, and overall, I think this is a really solid product. I haven't needed to put a micro SD card in yet. Uh, I love the fact that the mic is hidden and the reset button works really well. So this device is definitely better than the Arcos GamePad 2. And I know I gave the GamePad 2 a 9, and I was a little bit naive when I gave it an, a, a score of 9. To be honest, if I was to go back and review it now, I'd probably give the Arcos GamePad 2 around about a 6. You know, it's just below good, it's not great. But the GXD S7800B is a fantastic little Android console, and I know people keep bashing it everywhere on the web, and saying, oh, it's, it's Chinese, this, that, and the other, but to be honest, it is a solid console. It's a really good release, it has easy features, easy button mapping and overall it is easy to use and it's definitely one of the best gaming tablet devices I've had if not the best gaming tablet devices I've had so far so the JXD ultimately gets higher a higher score than the gamepad 2 and it gets a 9.5 out of 10 there's still room for improvement in pretty much every area of every console an Android console nowadays so that's the reason for giving it a 9.5 out of 10 but overall it is a really really quality uh, console and it, it plays pretty much everything without any struggle whatsoever I've played Grand Theft Auto I've played various emulators you know even games like Riptide 2 which are pretty demanding um, play really really well so I hope you like the review guys this gets a 9.5 out of 10 it really is a solid device and I'll certainly be doing more videos on it soon I've got a video on the HDMI coming out at some point over the next couple of days I just want to show every feature off on this product um, but so far so good it really is a solid product so if you enjoyed the video guys go ahead and slap that like button if you don't like the video, then let me know down below why, and I'll improve. And uh, as always, if you want, certainly subscribe, because that really does help me out. So, I'll see you next time, guys, with another review. This gets a 9.5 out of 10, and uh, cheers!